<laughs> what the fuck? I'm just happy to be here. I'm tired. I want to be in bed. I just wanted to tell you guys <laughs> that I have absolutely been losing my mind, like laughing for several days over just everything. Just and like my life, like since I got this endocrinologist, I've just been laughing about everything my hair is i feel like my hair is growing really fast but also at the same time like i don't have any concept of time so that could this could just be normal ah don't oh don't look at that <laughs> um so i got some more updates from my fucking endocrinologist the test results have just kind of slowly been rolling in i'm trying to not laugh I'm trying to not think that this is funny, but to me personally, as somebody that hates myself, it is. It just is, okay? Sorry, I had to I had to move my stuff around because you can see the, the Amazon box that's holding them all up a little too much. Um, guys, okay, so my test results from my blood work have just been slowly rolling in. And it's laughable to me when I was given an itemized list of things that I have to do. I literally fucking cackled. So let's go over this again. Okay, so I went to my gynecologist. I'm sorry, I think this is all funny. I think it's laughable. I went to my gynecologist and I was like, hey, can I have some birth control? And he was like... Why do you want birth control? Your tubes are tied. And I was like, because I have PMDD and PCOS and it helps me with both of these things. And it helps me not have, you know, two and a half weeks worth of PMS. And it also helps me get a period, which I tend to not do a lot. <laughs> and he looks at me and he's like, how do you know that you have PCOS? Mind you. Um, I'm almost 35. I'll be 35 in August. I have had multiple babies. In my life, I've probably had 10 different gynos. All of them have agreed up until this point that I have PCOS. So I'm like jarred. I'm like jarred by this. So he then tells me, sorry that I look like Sweeney Todd. It, I do, and that's my truth. If you can't handle me at my demon barber of Fleet Street, you don't deserve me otherwise. Anyways. He was like, well, uh, I don't know if you have PCOS, uh, despite the fact that you have all of the symptoms and we see polycysts in every scan we've ever done and every doctor you've ever had has told you that you have it. I don't think that you actually have it or I don't think that you actually have it without proof. So he referred me to a reproductive endocrinologist, bitch, bitch, bitch. The whole appointment was about her wanting to give me wig -V and send me to an obesity clinic to see an obesity specialist that specializes in weight loss medication and weight loss surgery. And I was like, I don't know how to tell you this hooker, but um, my insurance is not going to pay for that. And I sure shit, I'm not going to pay for that. She was like, oh, I'm so proud of you for losing weight and keeping it off for two years because I lost 100 pounds and I've kept it off for two years. So proud of you for doing that. But you could lose like five more pounds, maybe 10. I don't realistically think you'll ever be like 160 or anything like that. And just like saying all this shit that has nothing to do with the reason that I'm there. And the entire time I'm thinking, I could just go to the health department and get a free pap smear and walk out of there with a stack of birth control. Like 13 packs of birth control. Free of charge. Anyways, she's like, I'll give you birth control. And depending on how your blood work comes back, I might give you metformin as well. But it's all going to depend on if your blood panels point to PCOS or not. Because it can be very hard to diagnose. Because a lot of different things can mimic PCOS. <laughs> guys guys so i went and got a bunch of blood work done and 
in the first day, the majority of the blood work came back and it was like my A1C, which was good. It was a 4.9. Uh, my thyroid was good or as she put it, acceptable. Um, what else was there? My one type of testosterone. She tested two different types. I don't know anything about it. Epps is trying to explain it to me like a thousand times. I don't understand the difference. The one came back fine. Um, my estrogen is high. My progesterone is through the roof. Uh, my prolactin is through the roof. And then we had a test come back the other day. It was the second type of testosterone. And the highest it could be was a 45 without being over. Mine was a 45. So um, it was borderline high. And then they did one more test that I know of. Because um, at this fucking point, there can't be much else. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh, my LH and my FSH were completely off balanced. Um, they did one more test for a hormone that starts with an A. It's like you can take it like artificially and like it's like a performance enhancer and something, andro something. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Through the roof. Through the fucking roof. So she's like, I think you have a tumor. Not a cancerous tumor. Not like a tumor that's serious. Not a tumor. I'm sorry. I, I can't. You know what I keep thinking of? I keep thinking of the fucking movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger in it where his little boy's like, maybe it's a tumor. And he's like, it's not a tumor. That's what I keep thinking of. All of those numbers point to PCOS. And she's like... I think you need to get an MRI on your pituitary gland to make sure that there's not a tumor growing on it that's firing off these excessive amounts of hormone. Or it could just be what I've been told for the last almost 20 years, which is that I have polycystic ovarian syndrome. Because I'm telling you right now, my insurance does not like to cover MRIs. My insurance does not like to cover MRIs. They're probably going to fight me on it. And I don't know about that fucking copay. Hold on. Let me check the email with the summary and tell you the other thing she wants to test me for. Non-classical CAH. I don't know. I have to say that out loud. I don't know if it's, if it's, you say it like the like the letters C A H or if it's like ka or something like that. The symptoms of that, the non classical blah 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 blah, totally, completely, absolutely could be a thing. But I keep giggling about the fact that she's like it could be a tumor. <laughs> it's not a fucking tumor. My therapist and my psychiatrist both think that they're just kind of scraping for something to be wrong with me. But she did also warn me, she did also warn me that uh, she would be doing a lot of testing for things to rule out everything but PCOS. Why are they like, guys, I just feel like it's not that fucking deep. I feel like as somebody whose tubes are fucking tied, fried, and laid to the side, I'm not trying to get pregnant. I'm not trying to do this. I'm not trying to do that. I just want a steady flow of birth control. Why do I need to go through all of this? And I'm not laughing and I'm not trying to be insensitive to tumors, but it's not the tumors that she's talking about. People can go their entire life having it and they don't know unless they get a scan specifically looking for it because it's not dangerous. It's not like it's not cancerous, nothing. It just disrupts your, just as if, as if my hormones are not wrecking my shit right now. Um, it, it just causes issues with just causes issues with your hormones. Guys, I am so fucking over it. I feel like I'm losing it. Maybe that's why I think it's funny. For since yesterday, since yesterday, I have been cackling on and off about this because it just feels so fucking ridiculous. It does. It does. And honestly, if it was that deep, 
If it was that deep, why did my other gynecologists and shit not care about it? Because let me tell you something. For fucking free, bitch. When I lived in Florida, I had one gynecologist for three of my pregnancies. He delivered my twins and then E and D. And he cared about me. He loved me as a person because we had been through so much together. Um, he never, If I feel like if any doctor was going to step in and be like, yeah, well, I think there's a really serious issue here. It would have been him. It would have been him. It would have been him. And if it tells you anything, the last time that I saw him was at my six-week postpartum visit after having D, who is about to turn 11 years old next week, next weekend. I don't know. It just feels stupid. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't stop laughing about it. I can't stop laughing about it. And because I'm me, I'm just going to do what I'm told. I'm not trying to insult my doctor's intelligence, but motherfucker, if I would have known that just saying something like that to my gynecologist, um, can I have birth control? Why? I, 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 I wouldn't have brought up the PCOS thing. I wouldn't, I would have just been like, because I have PMDD diagnosed. Would you like to see? I wouldn't have brought up the PCOS thing. I would have just kept my fucking mouth shut. Despite the fact that he has done multiple scans on me and has seen polycystic, whatever. Guys, I'm, I feel like I'm fucking losing my mind. It just is what it is. This is the dumbest shit I've ever dealt with in my life. In my life. I, for some reason, thought it was the 30th. It's the 26th. These birthday is not for two more weeks. I'm glad that I looked. I'm glad that I looked because I was like, is it the third? And then I remembered the significance of the 30th is that it's the last day of school. And that's why that is burned into my fucking brain. Because I had this moment of panic like, oh my God, I think I missed a couple of appointments. If it actually is that day, it's not. <laughs> my lipstick is fucked up and I don't care. So you shouldn't either. And also I just realized that I accidentally left the AC on. That also has to be fine because I... I have my tripod in front of me and it's not moving. Guys, I have a question for my fellow idiots. Uh, from one from one dummy to another. Also, if you can see any eyelashes on my headboard, I take them off when I fall asleep in them so I don't destroy them and then they just kind of become one with the mattress forever. Um, anyways, I have a question. For anybody that plays Stardew on a Switch, that has also played it on PC, why do I feel like on the Switch, everything is moving so much faster? You know what I mean? Like, I seriously feel like I played Stardew for like a year on PC to get to the fourth year. And I like flew through the first year on my swing. Not only that, I feel like things grow back faster on my Switch. Like there were so many days when I was playing on my PC where I there was nothing for me to do and everybody kept telling me go to the mines, go to the mines when you can't find anything to do. I could not find anything to do because I would chop down trees and shit and it would take so long for them to grow back. But on my Switch, I feel like there's always stuff for me to, like, do. Like, not necessarily on my property, but, like, anywhere on the map. And I swear, I swear, I swear, it was not like that on my PC. I could get on my iMac right now and look. It, it, it just, it, I don't understand. And then somebody said to me, do you have it on some mode? And I'm like, I didn't need, is that a thing? Are you making that up? Because I've never heard of that before. I also like, feel like I don't play the game correctly because I don't do the quests and stuff. I don't, unless it's like absolutely crucial for me to move forward in the game, I don't. I was talking and was like, oh my God, my AC is up. But is that a thing? Like, is that a thing? If you play on PC, is it a lot slower than if you play on Twitch or Twitch? Switch? Or am I just like... I don't know. I don't know. But also, I was tearing up a bunch of shit trying to find something and I can't think of what it was. Oh, it was my headphones. The over-ear headphones that I just got, the Beats, I hate them. Guys, I hate them. 
I hate them. I have two more payments for them on fucking Afterpay, and I hate them. I went to the official, like, YouTube channel and watched a video on how to turn them on and off. They don't turn, they don't turn off. They don't turn off. They, the, when you hit the power button, when you press the power button down and you hold it, it does not, they don't turn off. They just repeatedly try to reconnect to my phone and it severely pisses me off because when I watch YouTube videos, I don't like to have headphones in. I only like to have headphones on whenever I am uh, listening to music. So it, it's like, I'm so disappointed. It's just whatever, it's just whatever. That had nothing to do with anything. But I was looking for them and I found them. I think I'm gonna give them to D. I think I'm gonna give them to D because he listens to a lot of music and uh, he struggled, he hates earbuds and stuff like that. Um, but I think I'm gonna give them to D because he listens to music a lot, but he just puts his like phone or his iPad up to his ear. And I'm like, bud, we have to find you a comfortable pair of headphones because that's just, you're not getting the full experience right now. So I think I'm gonna give him those. Um, and E has a pair of earbuds that he wears all the time. But they're actually AirPods that we all got for Christmas. I lost mine. I lost mine. I've been using wired earbuds. Anyways, I found this wig while I was looking for my beats. And it's got shit all through it. But I think I'm going to try to straighten it. It's the, it's the red ombre wig that I was wearing for a really long time. I think I'm going to try to straighten it and style it. Usually what I do with wigs is I wear them until they're frayed and then I straighten them and then I cut them. If I cut this, it's going to cut all the red out of it and it's just going to be like pointless. So I think I might like take Epps's beard brush that I commandeered to it and straighten it and see what I can do with it just to have like something different than what I've been doing and also because I just have it I may as well try to salvage it um but I think I'm gonna do that in a different vlog because this one is getting too long and also I'm getting ready to eat and I'm gonna fuck my lipstick up and I don't feel like getting up and going across the room and touching it up right now so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do this and we'll see what we can do with it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Also, 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 I'm going to put me doing my makeup sped up at the end of this video if you care to watch. All right, boy.